elevation from the Word of God. James chapter 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will exalt you. Romans 13 verse 1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God and those that exist have been instituted by God. Hebrews 13, 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy, and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Isaiah 40, 22 it is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to dwell in. 1 Peter 3 verse 4 But let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 32. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets and the holy scriptures, concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God, in power according to the Spirit of holiness by His resurrection from the dead. Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of His name among all the nations. Job 36 27 and 28 For he draws up the drops of water They distill his mist in rain Which the skies pour down And drop on mankind abundantly Verse 2 Verse 7 Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life And the man became a living creature Luke 18, verse 10. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Matthew 5, 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. May God's word be fulfilled. Romans 8, 28 And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Revelations chapter 20 verses 11 through 15. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were open. Then another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done and the sea gave up the dead who were in it death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them and they were judged each one of them according to what they had done then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire this is the second death the lake of fire and if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life 
he was thrown into the lake of fire. Job 26, verse 7. He stretches out the north over the void and hangs the earth on nothing. Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 through 25. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished his work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. And the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no bush of the field was yet in the land and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the land, and there was no man to work the ground. Ask yourself now, are you ready to till the land? Are you ready to do the work that God has called you to? John 1.1 1, 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen.